I'm, the, I'm on the Periscope. Supercharging. We're close to full. plugged in to the new thin supercharger cables which are more flexible so small that is cool here's a comparison quarter that's how wide it is if you uh, click on my twitter you'll see my vlog I'll be posting about it uh, probably in a few days we're at the supercharger station in Mountain View Whoop. All right, too fast it's pretty full over here and we're range charging to full so because I want to skip a supercharger no this is not an Eaton this is a Tesla supercharger Eaton makes uh, Chatham out they may have CCS as well but as far as I know Eaton doesn't make one that's a supercharger we're going to test the Model S and Model X when they get them, eventually. You see, that's the direction we're going. And we're almost full. We've been here for a while. But if you look at the speed, it's still pretty good. 59 amps and 404 volt, volts. Um, to full from flat can take an hour, but uh, that's if you really want it filled up. I mean, we're just being very uh, cautious. Uh, this is a standard 85, so no, uh, from empty, uh, about an hour, actually. This is actually faster than us. It might be 45 minutes, 50 minutes here, because these are the brand new ones. No, it's a standard 85 from 2013. Rear wheel drive and everything else. It's really slow at this point compared to where it was. It was as high as 340 miles per hour earlier. Can it do a burnout? Uh, I haven't tried. Yes, we're very happy with it. Center display. There's the center display. It's on music and uh, navigation. You can flip it. You can put on the energy display. I'm pretty conservative in my driving, you can see. Averaging 297. Rear camera. The web, my browser's acting up for some reason. I gotta figure out what's going on with that. Um, I tried doing the drive up, but didn't get the invite yet, so that's kind of irritating. So the battery swap didn't happen. Not this time around, at least. I don't know if AC really destroys battery life. I think it's pretty good. Uh, no, it does not have the insane mode. That's the P85D. But it is pretty badass. You know, 0 to 60 in this thing is about 5 seconds. So it's not... The uh, P85D goes 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. Nope, that would be me. Um, or my wife, uh, whoever's taking tr the turn to drive. So that's not drive by itself. No, it, uh, this has got, if you look, it's got 44,000 miles. It gets about 255 miles in, uh, in full range mode. Yeah, it's the same way in, the, in Southern California as well, uh, in the west side of town. You get to see a lot of Model S's. See, there's a ton of us right here, right now. Pretty much all the stalls have somebody in them. They go in pairs, so each one of the pairs have it. Um... Not officially, no. There's a refuel event tomorrow in uh, Laguna Seca. No, it doesn't take gas to. It's it's all electric. 
Yes, uh, the new Tesla models will start driving themselves if you pay for that. How long to charge? Uh, this can take uh, about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour for completely. <laughs> Some of the places have, uh, have burger joints by them, but this one does not. Uh, there's a Starbucks across the street, but I think they're closed already. We're at, uh, we're at we're in Mountain View, so yeah. Actually, if you go to my blog, if you follow my link to my Twitter, which is the same handle as I have for here, we just came back from an 8,245 mile journey from Southern California all the way to Maine and back. Um, so if you go to, uh, to to my Twitter handle, the I refer that to my blog. It has the the journey on there. Like we literally just completed that last month. That's part of that 44,000 miles is the 8245. So we're at 250 already, 10 minutes left. Yeah, have fun. It's uh, 23 posts, 24 posts, um, but it's a quick read. We're from Southern California. We're going home. No, not a Tesla employee. Uh, we're a Tesla Model S and Roadster owner. That's a P. It's not a P85D. It's a standard 85. If we want, if we wanted speed, we have a Roadster at home we could use. Any other questions? Yeah, those three should be nice. Uh, no, we, we did the factory tour actually when, when we picked up the car. We picked up the car in Fremont and uh, drove up to Sonoma and then drove back down to Southern California that weekend. So that was a fun weekend. We picked up on a Friday because if you're going to do the Tesla factory tour, we suggest that you do it on a, uh, on a weekday so that you could actually see them working and then uh, go from there. We've had the car since November 2013. That's why it's got that many miles. If you look at the miles there, 44,000. Um, otherwise, it's uh, it'd be insane to be brand new and have that many miles. I mean, that's a lot of driving. But, uh, but yeah, it's been great. You know, drive up today was easy, and you know, we're heading back down. So if you look, we're at 2.52 already. I, I don't think I'm going to max it all at 2.55. Well, the, the range of the car depends on how you have it configured. So you can get the car anywhere from 70 to 140. It depends on what you put into it. And then depending on where you live, it's 7,500 federal tax credit, uh, 2,500 in California. I did catch the last question. There was one other question after mine, if you asked the cost. But sorry about that. I would answer it if I had seen it, but... Anything else? We're getting close to full here, so... Oh, any problems? Um, let's see, gaskets has been the problem that we've had in this particular model. Um, it's some misalignments. Oh, the BMW i8, I love it, except for the fact that it's got a gas engine on it. Um, I was on the Active E program, so I enjoy BMW electrics, but uh, BMW i... The BMW i3 is a great little car. Uh, I'd love to have one, but they didn't do everything I needed for it. Once again, if you go to the blog, I wrote about that too. But uh, oh yeah, the gaskets. So the, the seals around the door were shredded um, the first weekend we brought it in, around, um, and uh, so they had to replace it. And then on our trip, when we drove from LA to Maine, the gasket on the passenger side ended up getting shredded, and that had to be replaced as well. So there's something about the rubber gaskets around the windows and the doors that, that weren't done right on ours. Um, it, it's been fixed, so hopefully that works. And then I think the gasket around the panoramic was also affected at one point. And then... Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think so. Um, I think it's just misalignment of the window and stuff. And we don't normally open the window while we're driving, but when we're driving cross-country, Wait, oh, the outside of the car? Sure. When we're driving cross country, the uh, we'd open the window while we're driving to take photos, and uh, 
Okay, so here's the car charging. And then the outside. It's blue. There's the front plate. Yep. And then there's the front of the car. My wife doesn't like to be in the camera, so that's why I'm not showing you the passenger seat. But that's what I am. Then if you look, up, oh, I'm going to go spin around here to show you the rest of the cars that are here. There's two over there. There's one over there. And then there's a bunch of chargers. So, all right. Well, we're going to be driving off, so thanks for joining us. Have a good day.